I'm having a hard time not thinking that this is absolute trash. Everything is going south. Hi, Angel. Hello, sweetheart. You wanna come sit? You wanna sit down? Can you sit? Siéntate, por favor. Other way. Wow, what a good pop. Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to the channel. The weather outside is really shitty. It's like rainy and windy and overcast. And I was like, I wanna do something cozy. And I have had two ideas for a really long time that, Peanut, can you maybe not do what you're doing right now? Two ideas that I've wanted to do for a while, but I haven't figured out like the best way to execute on them. And then I realized that I can put them together and make a thing in one. I've been writing so much poetry, it's not even funny, and songs. I've just been feeling really inspired recently. The feelings are feeling. I'm feeling a lot of things. As you guys know, I have a deep-seated obsession with Emily Dickinson because I watched The Dickinson Show and I was like, oh my god, this is so good and also so gay. She used to do this thing where she would pull flowers and I don't know if she put the flowers in her book or she would draw them, but she would have them in a book that she would like write under. So I was like, I have flowers. I'm gonna start drawing them out when I go out. I'll like pull a flower. What do I do with this though? So you're going to make a little handmade poetry book of some of my poems. And if it doesn't look like absolute dog shit, then maybe I will give it to one of you guys. But if it looks like shit, no one's getting this. So I've got a bunch of these paints, some paint brushes. You guys know I got my quill and my ink. I've got a cup of water in this cute little mug. I've got this, which is a, it's a wax seal that has my name on it and then some colored pencils. And then this paper that I got from Amazon that I'm like obsessed with that I use to write letters to no one on because I am a hopeless romantic. Now I wanna number all of these. We're gonna decorate them first and then put the poetry in it after. Just giving YouTuber who knows what she's doing. No. I forgot that I'm absolutely gonna get ink all over my fingers because I do every single time. Yeah, already covered. We're gonna test it on this little piece of paper. Actually, I don't think anybody has seen that, so. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad. You see? Hi, I'm making a book, you wanna see? It looks good, right? You love it, right? You love it, right? I wanna have some flowers and I feel like I should do something like cute. What kind of, I don't want like intense color. Okay, this looks kind of questionable. This is gonna humble me really quick. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I draw a moon. Do I know how to do that? Do I know how to do that? Why would a moon be blue, Sarah? Why would a moon be blue? There's something about like a blue moon that looks cool. Blue moon. If I made a little crescent moon. No, I absolutely cannot do a crescent, crescent moon. literally 106 p.m. and I have not eaten and I am starving so we are going to break we're gonna go get conveyor belt sushi because I'm dying I'll take you guys along with me and then we'll come back and we'll finish everything so let's go I got a red bean one and I got a black sesame There's nothing in that. We are back after eating my weight in sushi and then having a very mildly upsetting <laughs> sweet treat. I'm just gonna start writing on this first one. I'm a little nervous to fuck it up. I'm having a hard time not thinking that this is absolute trash. Everything is going south, but I'm trying to have a positive mindset. I'm not liking how this is turning out. You are a meadow in the spring, and I am a girl desperate for the sun. What does it mean? I don't fucking know. Provocative. I've been hand sewing these fucking pieces of paper together for longer than I'd like to admit, and I have not been sewing them the way that I thought I was gonna sew them. This paper is so much stronger than it looks. Do you kill someone with paper? This is why. <laughs> 
I played D&D. It's so crazy heavy that it's not letting me pierce through it. I wonder if you hit somebody with like a phone book, if it would like do crazy damage. And I'm wondering for like D&D, like what if I had an armor made of paper? Could I kill a guy? I'm gonna have to ask my DM that because I feel like, never mind. actually, I'm not gonna ask him that because with my luck, it'll bite me in the ass and then I'll end up dead. So we're not gonna do that. I finally, after hours, it took me the entire fucking day to make this thing. Diary of a Delusional Girl. I don't know if I wanna give this away or not because I think that it looks like absolute trash. But if for some reason you would like this and you want me to do a giveaway for it, let me know in the comments down below. This was way, way harder than I thought it was gonna be. But it's my first time and I tried it and you know what? It looks like a thing. So I can't knock that. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and comment down below if you wanna see me make another one of these. Thank you so much for watching. Stay weird, stay spooky, make sure you drink your water and I will see you on the internet. Bye.